Lunar New Year festivities are taking place across the world today. Here in BC, it's time to reflect on Canada's rich Chinese culture. And in Victoria, home to Canada's oldest Chinatown, the Chinese Canadian Museum is doing just that. Tess Van Straten takes us there in this week's Vital People. As you will come in, we want a sense of welcoming, so we have this moon gate. Retired Victoria City Councillor Charlene thornton Joe shows us the special gate that used to be at Ming's Restaurant as she takes us on a tour of Victoria's Chinese-Canadian Museum. It's an opportunity to tell the history uh, of our Chinese-Canadians, uh, in particular Victoria Chinese-Canadians, and as well as teach a little bit about Chinese culture. There's been many uh, diasporic eras uh, of Chinese-Canadians coming to Canada and as each generation has grown, changed, assimilated, evolved, uh, the history has been lost. The Fantan Alley Museum in Victoria's Chinatown, which is the oldest in Canada and the second oldest in North America, pays tribute to the important role local Chinese Canadians. Some are more renowned, uh, such as the first uh, member of parliament uh, that was Chinese. Have played in Canada's growth and prosperity. A lot of people don't know about the history of why the Chinese came, uh, some of the hardship they encountered, and some of the successes and opportunities uh, that uh, came forward. Three different colors, what they represent are the main three generals. For Daniel Wong, who fell in love with lion dancing as a young child, sharing his culture is important. It's good for us, I guess the young ones that are born here, to not lose track of where our roots come from. <laughs> And next Sunday, for the first time since 2020, lion dancing will return to Chinatown. The traditional lion dance is really important at Chinese New Year because it's colorful, it's loud, and the main purpose of it is to kind of ward off any uh, bad juju or evil spirits. We're very excited to be in the Year of the Rabbit. The Year of the Tiger, which we're leaving, is a, a little bit more of an unpredictable, a little bit more uh, uh, of a tougher year. Rabbit is a calming year. It's about peace and about prosperity. And I think given what's happening in the world today, peace is so important. And given the two, three years of COVID that we've all experienced, we need prosperity again. The kids love this in particular. As the museum gets ready to celebrate its first anniversary next month, Charlene says it wouldn't be possible without dozens of dedicated volunteers. You don't have to be Chinese to volunteer here. You just have to have a love for the Chinese history and Chinese culture. The museum's open from 11 to 5, Thursday to Sunday. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.